Hello everybody. So we've received some emails from students saying that they're a little bit unsure about how to actually go about completing work uh, via assignments on Teams or how to re-upload work they've got and so on. So I wanted to take a few minutes and just show you how you can actually go about doing this in a couple of different ways so that you're sort of sure of what you're doing and you can make sure you're staying on top of your work. So here I am in my assignments tab for one of my teams and what I've got in front of me is my uh, sort of first assignment so we're going to click on this and as you can see I've been given a range of different instructions uh, by the teacher and so on and what I've got here is a set of reference materials and also something that says my work. So depending on what sort of files have been uploaded, um, you'll get a range of options. But if it's a Word document, then it's very possible all you're going to need to do is click on it to be able to start filling it in. So for example, uh, if I click on where it says R091 Lesson 01 Worksheet, um, this will actually open in the uh, sort of online version of Word. And all I need to do um, is simply click and start typing in. So uh, you can sort of go through and enter your work here. So I'm just going to say, here is my mood board. Okay. And then obviously I would go through and complete the other tasks that have been set. And all you need to do at that point is then just click on close. So what will happen at this point is once you click close, it's actually saved. So if I go back in, for example, and click on this, It'll actually show the work I've put in. Okay, so you can see what I've typed is still there. And it basically means it's ready for me to hand in. So all I need to do at this point is click on the hand in button and it'll actually go through and submit that to my teacher. But what if you prefer to work offline? So some people, for example, have actually been downloading their files. So all you need to do is mouse over the actual file. And what you'll see is these three dots. And what you've got here is the ability to click on this and say download. So if you download it, that will then put a copy onto your computer and then allow you to actually work offline, uh, sort of using Word or any other tools. It might be that your teacher has uploaded a simple worksheet uh, which they want you to look at and then type up your answers. Okay, so for example, with this PDF here, my students can just click on download and have a copy available to them. So if you have downloaded it, how do you attach it? Well, it's quite straightforward. So once you've done all your work or once you've started a new Word document or a PowerPoint or whatever it is your start teaching staff have asked you for, all you need to do is come back to the assignment and click on Add Work. And this will give you a range of options. The first is to upload from OneDrive. So if you've been working online, you can do that there. But the other option you've got is upload from this device. So if you click on that, you'll see your version of File Explorer. I'm on a Mac, so I'm seeing the Mac sort of screen here. But if you're on Windows, you'll just see File Explorer. And what I've got here is a Word document that's got my work in. So I'm just going to click on this and say Open blue bar will go across to say it's uploaded then I'm just going to click on done and you can see it then adds my work there ready to be handed in and all you need to do at this point is just click hand in and teams will go through and sort out that process it can occasionally be a little bit slow so just be patient but what you should get once the hand in process is completed is an animation in the corner saying that basically letting you know that your work is uploaded and ready to go. And that's it. That's how you go through and open up work or add work and so on. I hope that makes things a little bit clearer for everybody. If you have any problems, please remember to keep emailing your teachers. Thank you very much for watching.